I'll begin by opening, uh, using my thumb against the chin on the mentum to open the lower mandible as maximally as possible. I want to place this tongue depressor directly into the mouth to the, f to the back of the tongue. And now I'm going to perform that scissor maneuver with my middle finger against the upper dentition. I'll place the laryngoscope straight over the top of this tongue depressor and as it becomes, its usefulness becomes limited, I'll remove it from the mouth. If I'm concerned about the patient's upper teeth, I can even take that tongue depressor and put it between the laryngoscope and the top of the, the back strap of the blade. I'm going to bring the laryngoscope around the base of the tongue and look at the larynx. I backed it up just a little bit. The next microskill is something I call the salad pin, uh, pinch. I'll take the tongue depressor out just to get it out of our way. I'm going to pinch the blade with my two fingers. And with this right hand, I'm going to perform the micro small maneuver to push the laryngoscope into the vollecula, into the proper, perfect position to engage the airy epiglottic ligament and provide wonderful exposure of the larynx. That's a grade one view on video laryngoscopy. It's a grade 2A view on direct laryngoscopy. Prior to trachea tube delivery, I want to make sure that I don't have any of the patient's tongue hanging over the delivery channel. One way I can do that is with my index finger by pl me placing that in the mouth. And if the tongue is in the way, I can push it to the left of the blade with my finger. It also dilates a tract for tracheal tube delivery. Very important with certain video laryngoscopes like, such as the GlideScope.